Hey, it's Uncle G from Audacity Dawning. Um, so, as much as I'd like to show everybody everything that goes on around here, if I actually recorded everything that I tried to do, I wouldn't get anything done. So, what I'm going to do is just give you a brief update on what we have been getting done around the farm. Projects, projects, projects. So this one is um, 15 gallons of banana water being aerated by an aquarium pump um, and also has an aquarium stone uh, on the bottom. And this was an idea from Carolina Roots. Um, so thanks a lot for that. I want to make sure I give credit to him. Another project, go bag, getting all prepared uh, for whatever, um, just in case. This is 30 pounds of stuff that I could carry if I needed to. My plan would not be to carry it on my back. I could if I had to, but I got a truck. I got a, uh, a quad. I got a tractor. I got all kinds of things that I could carry it with if I had to so um, it's mainly making sure you have the right stuff in it and there's lots of good stuff in there we'll go through it one day another project raised beds is moving along um, not quite finished yet but we are working on getting them filled up with branches and debris and all kinds of good stuff and then in this one, I've already started throwing dirt in one side of it, trying to figure out how much I need. And then once I get the dirt filled in enough, I'll go ahead and put garden soil and amendments and all that other good stuff. And then we will get started putting some something in here. Uh, there's plenty to, to, to put in, so um, we'll just see what, what goes first. Another project, bringing the peppers out from overwintering and see if we uh, can get some good peppers started early this year. These are habaneros, for the most part, ghost peppers. Um, and uh, we will hopefully get all of them to start growing again. There's, there's new life on all but one. And we still holding out hope for that one. We've got the beehives together. Um, we got a call that April 23rd, we're gonna be able to pick up our nuke. And so I've got to get these painted and outside so that they can season a little bit uh, before we put the first batch of bees in there. But at least they're together and uh, ready to be painted. So our seedlings, are coming along very nicely. Um, we've got some spinach and cabbage and carrots and a uh, bunch of green onions, uh, black seeded Simpson lettuce, um, habaneros, cat, more cabbage, um, not sh oh, collard greens, butterhead lettuce, baits, collard greens, more lettuce back there. This is the mystery garden. All the little scraps that I pull out and when I do thing, I just throw them in this bag and it's going to be whatever it is. And if it's nothing, that's okay too, because they were supposed to be thrown away. Um, this was a set of microgreens that I just kind of let go because they were growing so good. And uh, wow, they are crazy. Um, more, oh, kale um and collards and onions and more kale and more carrots another set of microgreens um those are radish daikon radish uh, we've eaten most of them and i thought well let me see i might just let these grow too and, and see if we actually can get some radishes out of them um more lettuce more lettuce cauliflower, celery, um, can't read that, I don't know, more, more, just more stuff, it's all coming along pretty nicely, uh, we're gonna have to 
get to the point where we can start hardening them and get them outside uh, so they can actually grow. But the weather's been kind of weird. It's been a little cool. We haven't hit our frost date yet. So we got about a month left. But I was in such a big hurry to get started doing something. And I'm glad to see it coming along. But I want to get it outside now. And of course, Lily and Brutus are still hanging out, doing their thing, enjoying life on the farm. They wish they had the run of the place, but uh, they like to run off too much. So they get have to stay leashed when they're outside on their own. Okay, another project. We got uh, sweet potatoes finally starting to develop some slips. So that's a good good sign, both of those. And then we also have a sweet potato in water where we're finally starting to get some roots going on that guy. I can get it to focus properly. So starting to come along. Also over here, we still have our single seed challenge going on. Sugar Baby hasn't emerged yet. Still waiting on it. Got it on a heat mat now so that we can uh, try to get it going properly. And then we've got um, Ginger on the heat mat as well, as well as some of the old uh, habanero seeds to try to get them to germinate. No luck on that yet. And another project. We've got some potatoes chitting in the dark down here. You see, they're starting to come along. So they'll be ready to go in the ground here pretty soon. I know you don't have to chit them, but I figured I might as well. And uh, I don't know why this thing isn't focusing right. But anyhow, that's those. Another project that we finished up is we got our 55-gallon drum of water. And we bought wheels for it to move it around because this thing is pretty heavy when it's full. And so with wheels, we can move it around to where we need to in the basement. I don't think we're going to leave this room, but just in case. Worms are still doing fantastic. They're lively and moving around, making us some good uh, uh, worm castings. I think they've doubled because uh, we've had them for about three months now. So we actually have them in two containers. We got them in this one. And then more of them in this container where if you dig, there's some activity somewhere. I think they're mostly in the bottom one. They're wherever the food is. There's some over in that corner. All good. Future project. We picked up a electric chipper shredder. I'm going to try it out. It was fairly inexpensive. Um, the one I really wanted, uh, it would have cost a lot of money. And so if this one can get the job done, then we'll use it. If not, then we'll get the, the bigger one. Another future project. We're going solar. We're going to hook it up and uh, see how it works. Another future project, chicken coop and or more raised beds. Got the materials to get it done, just need to do it. The last thing we got is this uh, raised bed. I was waiting for the weather to change to see what actually came up in it. So I wasn't quite sure and it looks like it's nothing but weeds. So we're gonna clean this out hopefully this weekend and uh, get
get some good stuff going on in there. We've done some other things, but um, I can't think of what they are right now. Uh, but uh, thanks for checking us out. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Make a comment down there. Hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when we put out new videos. And thanks for watching. We really appreciate you uh, sharing this adventure with us. Aloha.